Okay, we're gonna do a color test. See how well this color temperature filter works here on this camera. Um, I had to turn off some of the features like the screen and the LED lights because being that I'm looking into an aquarium, uh, that wasn't working out very well. I was just getting a reflection. But this is a pretty well lit unit here. So I'm not sure if this is the best test, but we're going to take it to the coral reef and see how that works. Now over here we're getting a lot of sunlight coming in, so we'll see if that changes, that color temperature changes on its own at all. Okay, okay. we're going to go uh, to the coral reef and we're going to see what that looks like because that is a 27 foot deep um, aquarium and so you you're gonna lose some of the reds and things like that like you do when you go underwater and we'll see how that translates with this camera it's supposed to be real good for underwater footage I don't know if this is exactly the same as if it was in the water but we'll see we'll see how it goes Nurse shark, stingray. Again, this is about 27 feet at the deepest point. So you are going to have a little bit of color loss. And we'll see if this camera compensates for that. Our sand tiger is swimming pretty low. Okay. I can't tell from the screen what it looks like, so we'll have to wait. Oh, hello, Nurse Shark. And see what it kind of looks like it's doing a little bit. I don't know. We're going to go to, um, we'll go to our other side, the shallow side of the coral reef, which is only, I think, about 17 feet deep. And it's a little bit closer to the actual sunlight, so we'll see if that makes a difference on that when we get over there. It's kind of cool little circle we'll goes around here. Looking through here, so it's a little bit more shadowed in the front with that light coming through. Oh, and there's our sea turtle, Ludwig, pinch of the sea turtle. Can you come over and say hi to us, Ludwig? Well, that's good timing. One of the rarest sea turtle species in the world, the Kemp's Ridley sea turtle, also one of the smallest. But Ludwig has been here a while, he's been in human care for a long time, he does real well here. Good representative of his species. We need to protect out in the wild. Alright, we're going to go to the other part of the shallow side and see what the color temperature sensor does for us with this. Uh, okay, oh, look at that. <laughs> I did not, I did not plan that. That is, uh, that's some good Ludwig footage right there. Or at least it appears to me. <laughs> All right, so again, this is uh, about 17 feet deep. It's a pudding wet. No, I'm not at the 17 foot part. That's going to be more down here in this range. And you can see the color okay in here, like with your eyes. Uh, but we'll see how the camera does with it. I can tell you when I filmed in this with other cameras, maybe I'll throw a little clip in here. Um, it's usually bluer than it looks in person, which is what happens when I'm filming underwater when I'm diving and snorkeling with most cameras. So I can correct it in post. You can use a red filter. This is supposed to, though, just kind of auto sort of account for that with the ISO. I think that's the ISO. 
So we'll see here. All right, one more shot I want to get and just see if our moray eel's out here. It looks like he is. Yeah. So we'll see if we can get him a little bit here. A little bit of a scratch and the yeah. acrylic needs to be buffed out. Pretty uh, parrotfish. A lot of grunts. Blue tang, surgeon fish. Where's that pudding wife again? <laughs> okay. All right. Let's uh, let's see how it looks, and then you guys can judge whether this camera is doing anything extra by having uh, that color sensor on it. Oh, and here's some bonus.